Hey Maria, my name is Marquise and I am the owner of Nomadic Marketing. And in this video, I'm actually gonna show you three things that you guys can do today to bring in more clients to your law firm. So now, most likely, you know, you're just sitting there asking yourself, what's in it for me? Or, or better yet, like, why am I even doing this in the first place? And honestly, those are both very good questions. Oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners are just too busy actually concentrating on their business in order to know how the internet can fully benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation that they have to working with someone is just knowing who's an expert and who isn't, uh, or who's gonna end up actually trying to help them or, or trying to take their money and run. So I found by giving people a free attack plan of things that they can actually do to impact their business, it's kind of just resulted in business owners standing up and saying, hey, Marquise, can you just do this for me? So if by the end of this video, you feel like I have the ability to actually help you with a, attaining new clients, for uh, the Meister Law Firm, feel free to shoot me a message and we can chat. Or you can actually take any of this information that I'm presenting to you today and use it for yourself, and that's all right too, all right? So now, let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your guys' time. So the three things that we're gonna go over today are gonna be uh, content, citations, and backlinks. So the first thing is content. So think of content as any of the words, phrases, pictures that show up on your website. So any of this information that counts as content, all this stuff that counts, and co counts as content, even this video over here, that counts as content as well. So in order to be fully optimized with Google, you need to have at least 1,500 words on your homepage. That's just to start and that puts you in a really good position to uh, begin the winning process. So what I did was I actually took your domain name, I threw it into one of the tools that we utilize here. So this is SEO Quake. This is a free uh, extension. Anybody can download it and run it on like their Google Chrome or Safari or anything else that you might use. So this is a great tool. I mostly utilize it just to see how many words are on a page. So this tells me that total amount of words on your guys' homepage is 574. So this is a really solid place to be. You're still a thousand off from being fully optimized, but it's better than having 300 words, for example. And as long as you know where you guys are at, then you know where you have to get to in order to be fully optimized. If we were to compare you to one of your competitors in the area, this is uh, Grossman Roth. So this is another uh, Admiral Time uh, Maritime Lawyer. Uh, they have about 1,500 words, so a little bit over 1,500 words on their homepage. So uh, I found them by actually just doing a Maritime Law Attorney Miami search. And I think that they come up on maybe like the fifth or sixth spot on that first page. So they are doing something right by having those 1,500 words, but you're not too far off. So just by having, adding 1,000 words, will get you up there over time. Uh, second thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be citation. Now, in order to look at citations, I am going to, going to take a look at one of the Google searches that I did. So this is the Maritime Law Attorney Miami search that I did. And actually, if you scroll all the way down here, you can see, where are these guys? Ah, Grossman Roth, uh, they were number seven. So Miami uh, Admiralty and Maritime Law Attorneys. But, Usually when you do a search, there are a couple things that show up. So the first thing is gonna be this ad section. So this is the Google ad section. Um, this is for anybody that are running ads across the Google ads or search ads network. Um, these are pay per click. So you only pay when a potential customer clicks on your ad. So this can go one of two ways. Either it can be very beneficial and actually gain your company some clients or it can end up with you guys wasting a lot of money. It really just depends on who you're working with, especially as a lawyer or attorney. Working within that industry, you guys have some of the most costly keywords. It can range anywhere from um, $50, $60, $70 to $100, $200, $300 
per keyword that's being used. So you do need to be careful when running these types of ads. The second area, which I think would be even more beneficial to you guys, this is the Google Map Pack or the Maps section for short. So this is where you can find the name, address, and phone number for any business, uh, whether it be a, a a law office or a, a restaurant um, in the area in which you are searching for. So I'll have uh, business owners, you know, that just kind of approach me and say, hey, Marquise, how can I show up in the map pack? And by showing up, basically they want to show up in these top three whenever a search is done. So there are a couple of different things that you can do, some of which are just optimizing your uh, description in that uh, listing, uh, also just kind of like optimizing your pictures as well. And uh, one of the third biggest things actually is creating those citations across the internet. So think of citations as anywhere that your name, address, and phone number show up exactly the same. So it's kind of like, um, think of like the yellow pages of the yellow book, for example. Uh, it used to get put on your doorstep and it used to have a list of all these different companies and their address and their phone number and you can find them in this yellow book. That is essentially a directory. So all of those directories just pretty much moved online. So every time that a name, address, phone number for your company is put into a directory, it gives you a little bit of leg up in Google's eyes because it tells them that you're a reputable business across all of these different websites. So what I did was I actually took your business name and I threw it into one of the other tools we utilize here. This is whitespark.ca. This is a local citation finder. Basically, it shows you how many citations a company has. Um, this is great because I can actually see, once I put in your information, my law, you guys have about 38 citations. This is a great place to be. Uh, I've worked with companies that when they started working with us, you know, they'll have anywhere from six to 10 citations. I've worked with companies that, you know, they were just starting out, they had zero citations. So having 38 is a really good place to be. But at the same time, most companies are within this kind of citation range. They usually range anywhere from 25 to about 40 citations, give or take. Um, so you're, you're like right in the midst of competition with other companies doing the same exact thing. What I tend to recommend is that a business has anywhere between 200 and 300 citations. It's just to put you in a place in which most companies aren't going to take the time to touch you. But they don't realize how relevant and how crucial it is to be winning this citation game. By having this many citations, it's basically telling Google, look at all these places that say that we're a reputable business and that all of our information is exactly the same. So definitely something to think about. And the third thing is backlinks. So think of backlinks as how a website has authority on the web. So simply put, it works like this. If you were to take site A and site A points to site B, therefore um, site A acts as a backlink, giving site B more authority on the web. So you have to think of Google as kind of like a popularity contest. The more sites that are pointing at you, the more popular you are, which in Google's eyes means that you're more, uh, a more reputable source or reputable authority. Um, but when it comes to citations, uh, or citations, sorry, when it comes to backlinks, not just any backlink work though. They do need to be relevant. So for you, for example, if it's a backlink that deals something in law or something in like Miami, business or, or, or something along those lines rather than, I don't know, like Pizza Hut, for example. You know, like one has to do with pizza, one has to actually do with the industry that you're in. So it's just something to be mindful of. So I took your information, put it into one of the other tools we utilize here. So this is Ahrefs. Um, this is one of the most robust tools that we use here. Um, this costs anywhere from, I think, like 70 to to $100 a month, so really not that much at all. But this gives you a lot of information on a website and what it's doing. So if you take a look at your site here, you guys have about 165 backlinks across 45 referring domains. Basically, that means that there are 45 websites out there that are backlinking to you guys in like 165 different ways. Uh, this is great. There's a lot of websites that don't have any backlinks. You know, They haven't taken any time in, in which to build up that authority on the web. So you guys are somewhere which is a great place to be. Uh, I will say that 
building up your backlinks is going to be crucial just to build up that kind of like organic traffic. So if you were to compare yourself to one of your other competitors in the area, so this is Grossman Roth, um, they have about 3.5 thousand or, or 3,500 backlinks across 208 referring domains. So you can see that this puts them in a place in which they are getting a good amount of the traffic and they also have moved up the list in which they are in kind of like that seventh spot area, which is good for them. So definitely something to just be mindful of, all right? So once again, what we went over today, uh, content. So this front page, needs to have at least 1,500 words of content just to be fully optimized in Google's eyes. Um, second thing, citations. So you're going to want to have anywhere between 200 and 300 of these just to kind of beat out the competition by a landslide. And backlinks. So you're going to need more relevant sites pointing at you guys just to show Google you are the authority. And if you were to implement these strategies today, you know, you guys can be number one across Google as well. So I guess you be, I bet you're wondering, you know, what now? Well, you can either go and use this information that I've given you today, and you can just use it on your own, and I'm perfectly all right with that. Or if you want the most efficient route and you actually want to save yourself some time, you can just give me a call at 970-829-1342. Once again, my name is Marquise with Nomadic Marketing, and my number is 970-829-1342. Four two. I look forward to hearing from you and uh, have a good one.